Neil, uh, you must you must have been stood there on the sidelines wondering how you didn't get at least a point out of that one. No, I think um, I try and be as honest as I can. I don't think um, a couple of games, certainly last week, we uh, in terms of an attacking threat last week, we were poor until the last sort of 10 minutes. But today, I would have been disappointed if you were interviewing me after the game if we'd drawn. I thought we deserved to win the game. We've certainly... You know, pushed and made chances, hit the woodwork a couple of times, and the two goals we conceded are both deflections which have gone against us. So we've had no luck whatsoever. I know people can say, well, you know, can say, well, you know, it's an excuse, but it's not. We're not getting any luck whatsoever, and sometimes you need that in a game, and we didn't get any today. But I can't fault the players' attitude because I thought they they played well today. Talking of luck. Could you be due a fourth apology in a row for that for that handball that was perhaps turned away for, which looked like a a near certain penalty off uh, Tom Pope's header? Yeah, we should have had a penalty. There's no question about that. I've seen it again, and it's a it is a penalty. But you know what are we meant to do? We you know apology three weeks running. Whether the ref where are we getting apology? It's it, it means nothing really. I just you know yeah. You, you can't keep saying it week in, week out. Some, eventually, something's got to be done about it. It's, it just can't continue because it's like to have four in a row now. Um, you know, it, it, it just leaves a sour taste in your mouth. I mean, you're talking to me now. It's sort of an hour after the game, and you just feel so deflated because it's uh, you've lost at home, and we just didn't deserve to lose today. Um, but that's the way things are going. I realise that I'm responsible for results and they're not going our way at the moment but you've got to keep fighting, you've got to keep going, we've got to keep battling and we've got to turn it and uh, you know we've got to come in on Monday and be positive again but um, we certainly need to get a little bit of luck as well. Where do you feel it perhaps went wrong today with the the goals, they were deflections but could it have been a bit tighter at the back perhaps for you? Um, I think you're always going to leave yourself open a little bit when you're chasing a game but um, I think the first the first goals, I'd have to say it again, but it, I, I think the shot's going wide and I think maybe possibly we've de- deflected it into the path, so I think that's unfortunate. And the second one, Monty's obviously tried to clear it and it's ricocheted straight back to the lad. I think, that, I think we could have then defended the cross better. Um, so I, I would say that was poor defending without seeing it again. Um, we should have done better, but in general... Um, we tested the keeper more at the other end. We've hit the woodwork. We've got crosses into the box and played at a decent tempo. So I don't want to be too critical because I thought we played well today, well enough to win games. You opted to leave Ricky Miller on the bench uh, for today's game. What was the thought process behind that? Was he more of an idea of coming on and making an impact like he did today? Yeah, I think, look, I had a chat with Ricky. I've, I've signed him, so I've got faith in him that he can score goals. He's not played well over the last couple of games. And I think he needed to, to come out of it. Again, he's still learning at this level. Um, so I felt it would do him good and bring him on as a, a to make an impact, which is which is what he did. So he's got to do what he did today for 90 minutes when he plays. And if he does that, you know, he will score goals. We all know we haven't won for so long away from home. I'd be lying to say suddenly we're just going to turn it around because everyone would say, well, why did you not do that again before? We will work hard this week. In trying to, you know, to to put out a team that that gets a result there, and you know, but but all the games are hard, and like I say, we need to get a little bit of luck. You know, I'm delighted for Tom. Um, it's a it's a plus on a on a disappointing day. Really pleased that he's broken the record while I've been manager here, and um, he deserves all he gets because he he works hard. Um, as I say, he will play through injuries. But today we've provided him with some service, which is what he needs. And as everybody knows, if we do get service to him, he will, he will score goals.